All right, hello everyone. Today I just want to show you a bit of the Community Material Pack version 4. So the Community Material Pack, as you may or may not know, is our collection of freely available materials for the Blender community, and they cover a variety of different use cases. There's been a very small update to it recently as part of the Patreon fund work. So what that means is my Patreon wage pays for the amount of time I spend working on free community projects. And the more patrons I have, the more hours I can put into it. But there's this overtime system where if the time hasn't been paid for, by the time checkpoints are reached, like Community Material Pack version 4, they won't be made public until the overtime is paid for. So at the moment, this update is estimated to release in about five to six months based on the current Patreon fund. So again, if you want to help make it public, you can sign up at codesol.online slash Patreon. So let's talk about the changes so far, of which there'll be more going forward as well. So we have these materials uh, called Alien Ruin. There were three of them, but they were kind of slightly redundant. So I condensed them down into Alien Concrete 1 and 2. If we take a look, there's a certain noise pattern to them that is quite concrete-y. I like it for atmospheric scenes and dark environments. And a slightly different version as well, which is more colored. Although I believe the material needs updating there. There we go. But there is a lot of color variation here as well, so you can swap between them as you need. From the recent uh, prismatic glass tutorial type thing, I've now added that to the pack. So if you need a starting point for those interesting visual styles, you can do that. This fake prismatic style experiment actually uh, got picked up quite a lot on Twitter. People really like the look of it. But also the demo file for that effect is also available to the $5 patrons and above already. So I added denoising and glare to the compositor for preview renders. So I've put my favorite kind of simple compositor setup on here now. It's quite nice, like bloom wise, if you've got really bright things on there. Removed HDRI from the world nodes and other like unnecessary nodes to basically so the file should be more space optimized now compared to how it used to be replace the material blob object which was i think this one here which we used to use to preview materials with my new material sphere which i'm using a lot for like afterglow and things like that so this is basically my own material sphere object going forward so you might be seeing more of this the light catcher behind is now darker in the file rather than brighter I feel like darker is, you know, nicer for kind of seeing the contrast between materials. The matte cap material that was in the pack has now been unmarked because there were quite a few problems with that in terms of like projection. If I can do a better one in the future, then I will. Remove basic subsurface balanced color materials. It was redundant. Remove distortion from the brushed material effect. So let's take a look. So this is like a brushed metal one that was in it before, but there was distortion applied and I thought it looked a bit better without the distortion. This also in part comes from my modular metals material pack as well, which is still available. Added mapping node next to the vector input for the brushed material to make it easy to control the rotation of the brushed effect. So let's take a look at that. So basically, if you change the rotation values, you can realign the angle of the brushed effect quite easily there in the material. Increase the default scale of the carbon fiber material. So let's apply that. There you go, carbon fiber. If you like your cars, should be a bit easier by default now. Removed subtle color from the battered material. Okay, so this battered metal type effect used to have a bit of color in it. I thought it looked a bit better without it. The scale can be modified of course like however you need remove default noise input from the crt material let's take a look here right you there you are so here you go you got like the kind of pixel crt effect and the glass as well so you can apply that to your screens and yes you can apply an input texture of any kind that you like or just a color which is pretty cool as like a like an emission like light source i might keep that in mind for afterglow but yeah, you can apply your own like uv coordinates and then the texture data into the input so that's you know, you can project stuff on a screen if you like. This material came from Slink originally. Thank you, Slink. Reduce the AO level of the rainbow metal material. So rainbow metal. Here you are. This one looks great as well. This one was provided by Marton and added by Wilson. It's a really cool one, actually, you know, for hard surface visuals. Added a volume material as a simple shortcut to the principled volume shader. Yes, yeah, so you can just click and apply a volume material. So if you're doing like spatial things that require volumes, there it is. It should be easy for you to apply noise to the kind of density level. Also, added the Fresnel material as a shortcut to the Fresnel effect as well. Yeah, so you can control how the Fresnel looks and, you know, also have it affect the roughness. So little things like this are just nice shortcuts. I did a Nebula material from the old Nebulaic Blender experiments, rendered a custom icon for that. Yeah, so the old Nebula work, if you want quick access to having simple Nebulas in Blender, then that material is available as well. The nodes are, you know, fairly complex for that, so you can break them down however you like. I did a product matte plastic material. Let's take a look. So this is more for product viz. Notice it's got that kind of textured surface to it, which is like, hold on, if I grab my new camera. 
So I recently picked up the Sony ZV-E10 and, sorry, Mark II, because my Mark I is being used as a microscope sensor and I'm using it to look at blood. So on the top of this, it might be too hard to see actually. I don't think I've got autofocus on, but you know this kind of plastic where it's got a slight texture to it, you know? It's very nice actually, I way prefer that to having like smoother surfaces. But that is basically what we're going for here. So yeah, it's a nice kind of matte plastic one and also I added a glossy version as well. So you can see that here and I think this one is really sexy. So for your little product viz type things, there's your matte and your glossy. And I also added some general updates to the rubber curtain material. So the rubber curtain was kind of for things like, you know, lab spaces with separators or, you know, factory or industrial areas where you might have like those rubber slats that you need to like move through, things like that. So it's not a massive update, this one, but it is ongoing. And like I said, it's marked on the roadmap now, available for $5 patrons and above already. It will become free when the overtime is paid for. Sign up as a patron to help increase the wage and get access early. If you made it this far through the video, put a rock type emoji in the comments so I can see if you made it this far. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.